Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to Watching Chickies. Now here on day 78, part two of our broadcast, and hopefully with that very kind of short video in the beginning, we um, have gotten over our technical issues for the day. It's pretty common for us to get disconnected at least once or twice. And there we go, my little chicks, all eaten away at your starter crumble so nicely. I just put in their breakfast just a little while ago and turned on their light. Most of their days are spent in their outdoor coop, but um, for these broadcasts, we always bring them inside where we have a bit of a stronger internet connection. Believe it or not, outside, it would be a little bit worse, considering we would get lots more disconnects. And they're just kind of playing about now. I just put the newly cleaned blankets on the floor here. And uh, they've kind of been playing on these blankets sort of since day one. I think they kind of view them as comforting. They loved having their playtime on it. And eat more veggies. Well, right here in brown and gold, we have Kagome, our Onagadori chicken. And the Onagadori is an endangered breed from Japan, known for their long, luxurious tails that um, for the boys can get up to be about 20 feet in length, or about six meters for those of you um, in Europe and elsewhere. And right here in black, we have our Ayam Samani chicken named Braveheart. And she is another little hen. The Ayam Samani comes from Southeast Asia and is known for this black coloration that goes all the way down to their very organs. And right here, just taking a little drink, is our little rooster, Stormy. And Stormy is a little silky chicken. And the silky chickens are covered in these downy, soft, um, fuzzy feathers their whole lives. They're quite friendly, loyal little chickens. And, you know, our little Stormy here is quite the little gentleman. And look at his little fuzzy feet, which come complete with extra little toes. Oh my, oh my. Yes, all of these breeds are a bit unusual here for the U.S., but, you know, all of them are well known for their friendly disposition. Um, we've been hand-raising them every day, uh, picking them up, giving them pets, and as a result, they are very friendly little chickens. And considering that our little Stormy here looks like he's going to turn out to be a, a little gentleman, uh, we might end up with a few hybrid silky chickens in the future. And uh, these guys come from a place called Feather Lover Farms in California. They kind of specialize in some of these more unusual breeds. And uh, yeah, we got them 78 days ago now. They are 78 days old. And they have just been doing so well. They've grown just so nicely. And all of them are members of our family and friends for life, so we're not planning on eating them, but we wouldn't say no to a few eggs in the future. And at the moment, they're still eating their uh, formulated starter crumble. It's an organic blend that gives them all of the sort of nutrients and the calories that they need to, to grow up to be big and strong. Uh, the vet um, saw them a couple weeks ago, and they are right on track. 
No problems. We had them back vaccinated for Marek's disease. And I think they're really just doing well these days. Got a few happy peeps coming out of our little stormy deck. Oh, and Kagome is already about to take a nap. Kagome, look how long your tail feathers have gotten. They are draped right across the food dish. And at this point, my Kagome's tail feathers appear to almost be the same length as the rest of her body. Oh my, they are going to grow to be so long there. Now, fortunately, she is an Onagadori hen, so that should mean that her feathers won't grow quite as long as the males. Because the males generally, well, their tails just grow and grow and grow their whole lives. I think the longest one on record was somewhere over 30 feet. But you know, a regular onigadori can get their tail feathers over 20 feet in length. So that can be a lot for them to handle at times. Oh my, am I hearing some sleepy people? from you. Are you trying to take a nap right next to the food? So you can just have a little bit to eat there, Stormy. Oh dear, oh dear. Now it's always a fun time to do these broadcasts. We try to make sure to do at least one a day. I find it kind of like a nice way to center myself, to have almost like a little meditative moment just watching these chickies be themselves, go about their business, and have a nice time. Oh, lovely little tail wag there, Braveheart. And they're such happy little birds. Now, generally speaking, during these episodes, I usually do a weigh-in. Um... I'm not sure if I should do a weigh-in now, because we are about um, four hours early for it. It might kind of uh, skew the results. So I might just wait until we have our afternoon um, stream there. Sorry for the long pause. I am still waking up a bit. In a little bit, I'm going to be having to go to New York again to do a bit of a COVID test to see if I can work on a television set. So that would be nice, getting back into filming. Lovely, lovely. Hello there, Braveheart. Hello. Oh, hello, sweetie. Hello. Yeah. And Braveheart is such a lovely girl. As we can see here, she's very tame. She does like some pets from Dad. And I'll see about just picking up some of the, uh, the girls and little Stormy in just a sec. And giving them all a little bit of a cuddle. That might be nice. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, and Stormy, let's see. Oh, let's get Kagome first. There we go. There we go. Oh dear, I got a honking little Onagadori on my shoulder. Let's see about Kagome. Hello, Kagome. Are you gonna be a singing chicken? Oh yeah? Oh dear, and bless you there. A little bit of a sneezy sneeze from you. Ooh, you do have such long legs now, Kagome. You have grown every day. Oh, lovely, lovely. And Kagome is a little bit of a singing chicken here. She loves to give us little whistles, little calls, 
when she's standing here on dad's shoulder. Oh, and Braveheart has kind of jumped up here to say hello to us as well. She's feeling a little bit lonely because I have Kagome on one sh shoulder. I have little Stormy here on my knee. So Braveheart's saying to herself, well, Dad, how about I get on to the other knee? There you go. There you go. And here we go. We have our whole happy little peep squad here with us. Now, oh, hello. Oh, and Tipsy Tarot Talks says that our little Stormy here brings back some memories that they um, had one at a school that they worked at, and it was a lap chicken. Well, yes, um, silky chickens can make brilliant little lap chickens. You know, they're very placid, they're very kind, and they are great starter chickens for people kind of just getting into chicken keeping. Let me just get your little feathers right out of your eyes right there, Stormy. We're thinking of giving him a little bit of a hair tie soon. And yes, they do love to be held. They love the extra heat. And they will just kind of stay in the same position for hours and hours if you let them. Oh, and hello, Braveheart. And even though Braveheart isn't quite as fuzzy, now her feathers are still very, very soft. The Ayam Samani breed is also one which is very friendly towards people. You know, they could get very placid like this. They can enjoy lots of little strokes. And they are generally really happy little birds. And then we have our little Kagome here. She's a bit more of a rebel rouser, but still a friendly breed. As we can see, she likes to do a few little songs, a few little chirps there. And she likes nothing better than to just kind of hang out with Dad here on the shoulder. Yeah. She could give a few squawks sometimes, but, you know, once she's here on my shoulder, she's generally an extremely happy little bird. Yeah? How about that, Kagome? My little brown-eyed chicken. And you'll see them do some preening behavior, where they clean their feathers with their beaks. And that can just um, be a way for them to spread some of their natural oils about their feathers to make them softer, more resistant to water. It also is a way to get rid of um, dead, dried skin and to pull out any feathers that are currently molting. Yeah, I'm just telling them about you guys. Oh dear, so much commentary from Kagome this morning. Yeah, yeah, that's you on the screen. She sometimes looks at herself on the phone when it's turned this way. But I guess she's had enough of herself. Hello there, little Stormy. You are just so quiet, you and your fuzzy little feet. You know, Stormy's been rocking a little bit of a mohawk recently, but that's kind of um, turning into almost a little bit of a Joe Dirt situation here. It's almost becoming a little bit of a mullet with the party in the back. Oh dear, oh dear. And Stormy is our little man of the group. You know, even though the other chickens are the same age as him, um, he is the smallest little chicken. And hello there, soggy cereal. Hello there, Stormy. Hello. Got a little bit of a look there. Oh, what a lovely little bird. And all of them are a bit quiet this morning. You know, they're kind of used to Dad coming in around uh, noon to do this show. I think they must all still be a little bit tired from when we woke them up. And hello there, Mr. Ridden. Hello, Stormy. Are you standing up? Oh, dear.
dear, oh dear, such a small little chicken. It's hard to imagine that in the future you're going to be the father and the patriarch of the flock. You're going to have a few little hybrid silky babies that are going to be looking up to you. And then once they grow up, they'll be looking down at you because they're probably going to be taller. Oh my, oh my. Well, that's all right. You're still our brave little rooster. There you go. There you go. And for those of you who might have missed it, right here on uh, my right knee, we have Stormy, our little silky chicken. And the silky breed comes from China. They were originally bred about 2,000 years ago and are covered with this downy soft feathers their whole lives. Right here on my other knee is our Ayam Samani chicken named Braveheart. And the Ayam Samani comes from Southeast Asia and is known for this black coloration that goes all the way down to their very organs. And then right here on my shoulder is our little singing chicken, our Onagadori, which is an endangered breed from Japan. Her name is Kagome, and they are all now 78 days old. Hello there, little Kagome. Hello. You're just chilling out there on Dad's shoulder. Yes, you are. What a lovely little bird. Yeah, you're a lovely bird. And there you go, Stormy. Looking around, giving it a little bit of a yawn. Oh my. And it's nice to have some of these little quiet um, streams, just enjoying the chickens, being really mellow and relaxing and enjoying Dad's company. And there we go. Oh, lovely, lovely. There you go, very far. And Imankun, no, right here. This is an Ayam Samani, not a pigeon. And this here is a Silky, not a pigeon. And our beautiful Kagome can't be a pigeon. She's not a pigeon, especially with that long, long tail of hers. Oh my. Are you a pigeon? No. You're much more glorious than a little pigeon, aren't you? Oh dear. Yes, you are. Lovely. Hello there, uh, John Ryan123. I hope you are having a lovely day. And our little chickens are having quite a nice little morning. Oh, and thank you, Iman Kuhn. It has been a joy to raise these little chickens, and I can't wait to see how they are when they are full-grown adult chickens. You know, they're kind of firmly into their teenage phase right now, but they are all still lovely little birds. There you go. There you go. Oh, and what, what, what? You keep trying to get my attention there. Yeah, you want to get my attention that you're going to sleep, Kagome? You know, sometimes she falls asleep, and then she doesn't realize it. And then she quickly shakes herself awake and kind of hits the side of my face with her little beak. Yeah, I'm paying attention to you. 
And Imman Coon, well, you missed the rooster in front of your face. Right here, our little Stormy um, has begun to crow. Um, he has even a couple times, I believe, tried to mount one of the other chickens in a little jump, which has not worked out well for him, considering that he is smaller than the other chickens. And he already has sort of developed a little rooster strut. So we have one little rooster here, and we have two bigger hens in the form of Braveheart here, and then Kagome on my shoulder. Um, neither of the girls really kind of respects um, our little Stormy as a rooster. Um, much of the time, Stormy is kind of just um, trying to go underneath the girls, almost like he's trying to be an egg again, which is always kind of a funny sight. But they kind of tolerate him, you know? I've seen him a couple of times try to kind of peck them to um, almost kind of assert his authority. But um, they just kind of ignore him. Like, I think they just kind of find him like a nuisance, like a little brother or something. Oftentimes I find Kagome and Braveheart you know, just kind of chilling up here on the top of the railing. Um, but um, if you don't know silkies, um, silkies are not very good at jumping. They're not very good at flying. So the best that Stormy can ever do is kind of get here to the lower level. Stormy isn't much for uh, balancing on ledges. Stormy is one just kind of for chilling out. There you go. I know you have some little hormones running through you, but you are still so nice and lovely. And yes, they'll, they'll probably give him a bit more attention when he gets older. Um, when they are fully grown, uh, Braveheart here will be um, five to six pounds. Uh, Kagome on our shoulder will be um, four to five pounds, and then Stormy will be three to four. And hello there, Flippy Birdo. Well, good luck on your first day of school. We're rooting for you. I hope all goes well for you. Yeah. You're rooting for Flippy Birdo there? A little stormy? Ooh, a few peeps. Well, that's promising. It is very promising there. Ooh. That's a lot more noise than you usually make. You know, usually you're more verbose when you are getting sleepy. But that certainly wasn't a sleepy peep. Braveheart's here just wanting to get more cuddles. <gasps> oh, our little Stormy is looking at the computer screen. Are you interested in what's on the computer screen? Oh, dear. Oh, and a little stretch and a scratch from our little Braveheart as she gets some of her preening done for the day. Are you doing some preening there as well, Kagome? Yes, you are. Ooh, there went went a feather. Oh my. And yes, Stormy piped up and gave his best wishes to you as well. That was quite a little good omen. Oh my, all of that crinkling noise. You're being quite meticulous there, Braveheart. Quite meticulous. Oh, 
I'll clean that. You're getting all of your dandruff here onto Dad's trousers. Oh my, oh my. Hello there, Stormy. Hello. Such a punk rock hairstyle today. But you are always a punk rocker with the fuzzy sort of cotton tail that you have back here. Oh my. Fluffy butt. Peep, peep, peep. I know. You got so much party in the back right now. Yeah. My little party chicken. You know, in better days, when we can invite more people again, and we don't have to worry about the pandemic, we can show so many people our little Stormy, and he will be so happy to get all of the pets in the world. Won't you? So many people will just want to hold you and give you nice little pets, and you could be just happily peeping along. Oh, good little Stormy. There you go, there you go. Ooh, hello, Kagome. Hello. You were looking at my face there quite intently. No, you just wanted a little bit more air time. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah? Anything more to say? Oh, yeah? Oh, dear. Well, I do love your little whistling there. Hmm. <laughs> and Flippy Birdo says, Stormy is all business in the front, party in the back, and always disco ready. <gasps> Bless you there, Stormy. A little sneezy sneeze. And Lauren might actually be making Stormy his own little hair ties. Because each day I see more and more of these feathers get into your eyes. I don't want you to ever go blind, no sir. Apparently that can be an issue for some silkies. Oh, and Iman Kun says that they want chickens, but just run-of-the-mill ones that they have in Illinois. Um, when they get more space for them. You love your uh, friend's rooster, Pedro. He was awesome and gave a loving calf pack every once in a while if you got too close to the hens. Oh, my. Now, I'm not sure if any of these guys would give me a bit of a peck. No, I have been hand-raising them since day one of their lives. They kind of recognize me as kind of their adoptive parent. They imprinted upon me. So I think to them, I'm probably sort of an honorary member of the flock. So I'm not sure if they would ever try to assert their authority on me. Oh, my. Look at all of this bird dandruff. That brave heart has actually just kind of shaken out of her feathers. It's falling just like snow right now. Oh my, well I'm glad that I'm not going to be trying to film in these pants today. Today is all just about taking the COVID test. Oh dear, Braveheart, you don't need to eat your own skin. Oh dear, you don't want to be that person. Oh my, oh my. Now love Stormy. Standing full and tall there. So here's a good angle for you guys to see the extra little toes. On Stormy, ooh, you almost backed up too far there, and you almost fell off. So little silky chickens actually have 
um, five toes on each foot, as opposed to a normal chicken that usually just has four. Oh my, oh my. Braveheart, so much dandruff, but at least you're getting rid of it. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, at least they are all having a nice morning. My little Stormy's getting closer to me now. I think Stormy is trying to get over towards the dandruff. Are you trying to eat dandruff? Oh dear, oh dear. Well, I think I'm probably going to be ending this broadcast at about 8.45 this morning to give myself some extra time to drive to the, uh, the location in Brooklyn today. Parking can always be a bit of an issue when you're driving into the city. And then we'll be back later this afternoon. But so far, we've had a really lovely little broadcast here with you all. If any of you guys have really enjoyed just kind of watching the chickens and chilling out with us, we have a YouTube channel called Watching Chickies. There's a link to it in my profile page, as well as a link to our Instagram and Patreon. And I'd just like to give a little shout out to thank our lovely Patreons, Gamers Plane, Memento Mori, Lucidity, Xanthe, Terror Birdie, and February Monster for their continued support. Yeah. And we'll be back later this afternoon with another broadcast when I'm back. I'm not sure when I'll be back today. It depends on how many people that they're going to be testing at my location. Um, one of the new things uh, for television production is that um, everyone on the set, and that includes sort of like the crew, all of the actors and everyone, needs to get COVID tests before they um, report. There we go. There we go. Oh, and Iman Kuhn. Wow. I hope you have a lovely day there. And hello there, Captain Knots. And there you go, little Stormy. There you go. Little pets there. Such a fluffy, fluffy little chicken. And Kagome, right behind Dad's head there. Yeah? You move into the other? Oh dear, oh dear. A little stretch. Oh, and settling down again. Yeah? We keep singing and singing and singing away. Hello there, lovely bird. Hello. All right. There we go, Braveheart. There we go. Such a beautiful little Ayam Samani chicken here. Our loyal little Silky here. And then our singing Onagadori on my shoulder. Yeah. Such a lovely little singer. That's got you. That's got you. And she really does love just kind of staying here on her favorite perch, which is my shoulder. And Stormy is just so intently right now, kind of watching the uh, stream on the laptop. I don't think Stormy knows exactly what's going on. He's looking at Kagome, but now he's looking at himself and he's looking a little bit confused. Oh dear, oh dear, it is Birdception right now. Do you recognize who's on who's on the screen there, Stormy? That's you. That fuzzy little chicken is you. And now it's gonna be Braveheart again. And now it's gonna be Kagome again. 
Yeah, do you recognize all of those different chickens? Oh dear. Well, um, I'm going to be heading out in just about three minutes. So let's give the little chickens a bit of a treat, why don't we? And here we go, Stormy, here we go. There we go. And Stormy did a nice little jump there. I'm gonna pick up Braveheart. There we go, a few clucks from Braveheart. Come on, yeah, come on. Come on, yeah. All right, I'm gonna lower our little Kagome to the ground. And now let's give them some of their favorite treats. Oh, you can see them react there. Oh, you can hear that eagerness in Kagome's voice as we see some sesame seeds here. And there we go. Lots of little sesame seeds. And they are very fast to eat them up. They are very accurate. Oh, Stormy, you love the sesame seeds, but all of you really do. They pack a, a lot of little bits of nutrition in there, lots of little protein, and it's a good little snack for little chickens. Each of the little seeds is just bite-sized for them. Each peck picks up one seed, and they just go nuts for them. Oh, lovely, lovely little birds there. Our happy little peep squad. And of course I do pet my little birds. I was petting all of them for so long. They were all on my lap for quite a while. There we go. There we go, little Stormy. I gave Stormy a little bit of a pet there. And um, we are going to be ending our broadcast for the moment. Uh, we will be back later this afternoon when I am back from work. Um, for those of you who want uh, to see the birds a bit more and see them get pet a bit more, you can check out our YouTube channel called Watching Chickies, where we have uploaded all of our streams for all 77 other days of broadcasts. And they're all just having a simultaneous little drink there. Oh my, oh my. Well, I guess sesame seeds must make you all a little bit thirsty. And I had such a lovely time here with you all, and I hope to see both new friends and old once more. Normally we film um, at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but today was a bit different because of my odd work schedule. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all again later this afternoon. Thank you very much for joining me, and from our little Kigome, our Onigadori, Stormy, our Silky, and Braveheart, our Yamsamani, we all wish you the very best. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Take care.